There is only one thing better than getting your hands on pretty cross-stitch stuff, and that's saving money while getting your hands on pretty cross-stitch stuff. And if you agree with that, have I got the video for you today. A while ago I was contacted by a member of the team over at Caterpillar Cross Stitch asking if I'd be interested in taking a look at, among other things, their subscription box offering. And like, obviously yes. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get this baby open, have a bit of an investigate, and do keep watching because I have a discount code for you if you'd like to get in on some of this action yourself. Just a quick note before we rip into it, one of the things in this package is Caterpillar Club Box 13, which has not shipped yet. I believe it ships on the 1st of June. So if you've already bought that and you don't want spoilers about the contents, I'll let you know when the video gets to that point. But the willpower to look away is gonna have to be on you. On the other hand, if you only care about the Club Box spoilers and not about whatever else may be in this package, get thee to this point in the video now. You're welcome. Okay, I'm sure most of you have heard of Caterpillar Cross Stitch, but just bear with me for a moment for anyone who hasn't. Caterpillar Cross Stitch is a British company founded by Sally Wilson, who one day decided that the sort of patterns she wanted to stitch didn't seem to exist, and she was going to be that change. I read an interview with her about this a few years ago now, and that was actually one of the things that made me want to give designing my own patterns a try, so thank you for that. These days they've got cute and colourful patterns, kits and stitch-alongs for all ages and experience levels, as well as various tools and accessories and even a planner. Ooh, <laughs> planners. They do ship worldwide, so it doesn't matter where you are, they are totally worth checking out. I do own some of their patterns, and personally I've had Hello Pumpkin in my queue for literally years at this point, so when they reached out to me about this video I kind of felt guilty about having never got on that. But you know, now they've sent me more distractions, so I guess any further delay is on them and not on me being an outrageously slow stitcher. Also, just a quick aside, this has arrived just in time for my birthday, so thank you Caterpillar Cross Stitch for probably the biggest birthday gift I'll get this year. Their Caterpillar Club Box subscription is a bi-monthly box, so six of them per year, and you can buy them individually or you can sign up for a full year at a discount. As you can see, you can currently buy the previous two boxes individually as well, but I suspect that's just as long as any leftover stock lasts and they won't be coming back once they sell. They do team up with other designers for these boxes, so I'll blur out the theme name of the next box, Box 14, for anyone who prefers to go in blind. But you can see it's going to be designed by Emma Congdon, so these are big, well-respected names. Okay, enough intro. Honestly, I don't know exactly what's in here, and I'm super excited to find out, so I'm just gonna go for it. Technically, they did send me an email listing out the contents, but I averted my gaze because I thought it would be more fun that way. Don't mind me, just having an off-cam sneak peek. Ooh. Ooh. You'll have to excuse the state of my nails, by the way, but I'm recording a few top-down videos this week, so uh, you'll get used to seeing them. Okay, so here is our subscription box. Beautiful and tempting. But we'll put that to one side for a minute, and let's take a look at the other goodies first. This is so exciting to me. I definitely did not expect to be pulling out a project bag. I know, you know, we all know there is literally no such thing as owning too many project bags. So this is a great start. Okay, so it's made out of what feels like a nice sturdy canvas material on the front, and then on the back, see-through. Oh yeah. Again, I think we all know how useful it is to be able to see what's in a given project bag without having to take out the contents of all of them, so great design, spot on. We've got a standard zip at the top here, and is this a separate pocket? I guess it must be. Yes it is, nice and big as well. And of course it would not be complete without the Caterpillar Cross Stitch mascot. Meet Carlos the Caterpillar. Can I just say, this is not the first time a company has contacted me with an offer of products to review, it actually happens a lot. But it's the first time I've ever accepted, and I did that because I know this company and I knew whatever they sent me would be top quality, and clearly that was a good call. My project bags take some fairly rough handling, but I can tell by the materials in this that it's not going to be a problem. Which makes me very happy. Okay. What else do we have? Okay, there's a couple of small bits and pieces in here. I suspect to know what these are. Yes, it's a needle minder party. 
Okay, that might be overselling needle minders a tiny bit, but let's face it, they are awesome. And look at how professional this whole thing is. We've got all the branding on the front, social info on the back, and let's have a closer look. Again, more super pretty branding. Everything is just like top quality. You can't fault it at all. The enamel on the front, it's a nice size magnet on the back, and yep, it's a pretty strong magnet too, which is what you want when you're trusting it to hold all your needles. Let's take the other one out as well and have a look at them side by side. So here we are, both super cute, really good quality. And I gotta say, they both kind of bring back um, memories of my childhood garden, which is a little bit unexpected. But see, this has a sunflower in it. And when I was a kid, me and my brother had a competition to see who could grow the tallest sunflower. I don't actually remember who won, but I do remember sitting out in the garden reading to mine because somebody told me that might help. <laughs> I really love the size of these as well. I'm not much of a fan of those really big minders, except on certain projects. I just find they get in the way a bit more and you really don't need the extra size just to hold a needle. And I can't get over how smooth they are on the front. I just keep wanting to stroke them. And in fact, I appear to be doing that on video. Oh well, here we are. I'm not sure about the ladybird one, but I think this one with the bunch of flowers might match one of their cross stitch patterns. I'm pretty sure I've seen people stitching quite a popular pattern that's just like all different kinds of flowers in a row. I don't know, if, if the image I have of that in my head is correct, then this is almost certainly the matching minder to that. This one might also have a matching pattern, I don't know, I'm no expert, but this one almost certainly. Rather naively, I didn't expect needle minders, so I didn't bring a handy needle to clack onto these satisfyingly, but I'll do it in a bit and I will insert the footage here. Oof. Good clack. All right, final thing, I think. Yes, final thing before the mystery box reveal. They have also sent me an entire cross stitch kit and it's got a lighthouse on it. You know me, I'm a sucker for a stylized landscape and also for areas of block colour, so this looks right up my alley, even just design-wise. But let's get it open and see what you get. Oh, it's actually sealed at the back and it lists the contents. Okay, so. Easy to follow instructions, yes. Colour chart, that's great. I personally prefer colour charts. I know some people prefer black and white, but I just find colour a lot easier to scan. You've got properly branded DMC floss. You've got properly branded Zweigart Erda. They even include the needle in case you don't have one of a suitable size. And the threads are all pre-sorted and on a cardboard holder. I'm guessing this little black dot here means that I have the 16 count version of this kit, but we'll see. Oh, and before I forget, this is the Shine Bright cross stitch kit. I'm sure you saw that already, but just to cover all my bases. <laughs> Drift into a state of calm with this coastal themed cross stitch kit. Lovely. I feel bad ripping through this sticker. Ah! It ripped nicely though. Fair play. It's time to get stitching. Pop the kettle on and get comfy. Well, joke's on you because I've got a cup of tea right next to me already. All right, I'm just gonna move the actual pattern to the side because obviously I don't want to be showing you a close-up of that. Let's see what the rest of this is. So we've got the instructions, nice thick cardboard. It is not going to get ruined straight away. You're gonna be able to keep this and refer to it through the project, which is brilliant. If you're buying a kit for a gift and you don't know their experience level, or if you yourself are a beginner, you want to know the kit has got absolutely everything you need. So in this case, it really does. It takes you through everything from actually preparing your fabric to fastening off at the end. And on the back, there are a few more tips and a couple of diagrams. Keep your needle safe at all times with a magnetic needle minder. Good tip. You never want to sit down on a wayward cross stitch needle. Trust me on that one. And again, they've got details down here of their big Facebook group and also their YouTube channel. So you can find all kinds of tutorials on there if you do get stuck. We've got an appropriately sized piece of Yes, that is 16 count sort of beige erda, and as you can see, it comes with the DMC needle just stuck in there, handy. No more, no less than you need for the kit. Then we come to the main attraction. Everybody loves some colorful cross stitch floss, right? So these threads have come pre-sorted. They're all nice and neat. I'm not sure what these holes are about here, although, okay, now I think about it, I'm pretty sure I've seen some people keep their floss in a sort of ring binder, so maybe it's for that. 
I may be talking nonsense though, do not trust me. But it's nice and neat and tidy, again it's proper DMC thread. The whole kit is honestly just quality. I will show you just a little bit of the printed pattern, obviously I'm not going to show you the chart, but if you can see here it comes with notes on the finished size. Look for the red lines and centre arrows to help, that's a good tip for newbies. And at the bottom is your DMC thread key, so you've got everything you need on here. So that's the Shine Bright kit, honestly I'm well chuffed with that. I know a couple of people pretty obsessed with lighthouses, so I could stitch this up for a gift. Honestly, it's worked out pretty well for me. If you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, first of all, consider hitting that totally subtle, well-hidden subscribe button, and maybe leave this video a like to help it reach more people in need of more cross-stitch content. But specifically if you've enjoyed the products we've seen so far, do check out the Caterpillar cross-stitch website, which I'll link in the description below. And if you're interested in getting your hands on a subscription box like the one we're about to see, you can get 15% off your first order with the code 15BOX14, which is valid until July 14th. This is when the ordering window closes for the next box, which will be box 14. So you know, no actual rush, but if you are going to be buying it anywhere, it would make me look really good if they see a sudden spike in orders once this video goes out. Just saying. <laughs> so now, it is time. If you've ordered Caterpillar Club Box 13 and do not want to see any spoilers, thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you around soon, but in the nicest possible way, what are you still doing here? Get out of here! So this is the club box, it's small and perfectly formed, and let's be honest I'm probably about to rip this pretty packaging to shreds. I feel all rather fancy having access to something that's still supposed to be secret. On the website you can actually see the list of everything that's going to be included in the next box, however because I've received this box after the signups for it closed, it's no longer listed on the site and all I have to go off is the theme name listed in the shipping confirmation email I got. So literally all I know about the contents of this is Ocean Wonder. Which is very exciting because sea stuff is one of my favourite themes, but I rarely get a chance to actually stitch anything along those lines. Just cross your fingers for me that there's nothing manta ray themed in here, or we might have some bother. <laughs> Alright, so I have to say this is very beautifully presented. Good job whoever handles the packaging, you are definitely appreciated. First up then, we've got a little postcard. Hello lovely, thank you so much for your order and for supporting our small business. Well, I got this box for free, but I guess I'm still supporting them in my own special way. That's cute. We've got a hoop. Oh, oh, this is gonna get everywhere, I can already tell. Six inch wooden hoop, very useful. You can never have too many of these lying around. I spy another kit in the bottom of this box, which I suspect is going to fit perfectly into a six inch wooden hoop. What do we have here? Oh, it's washi tape! Oh, I've never owned washi tape before, like ever! Oh that's so exciting! I know this name as well, I can't think why. Possibly one of the brands that I follow on YouTube, I do follow a lot of illustrators who make a lot of washi tape, so that might be the case, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I've definitely heard the name Nutmeg and Arlo. Oh, I definitely need to get this open right now. Oh my god, how adorable is this? I mean, I was terrified of jellyfishes as a small child, but we'll just breeze past that. Mr. Crab, octopus, all kinds of fishies, a cute whale, and seaweed. Also, I'm kind of scared of seaweed, but I'm gonna say that's coral and not seaweed. Yeah, that works. It's coral. It's all coral. Oh, there's kind of a lobster in the background there as well, I can see. I think he must be on the next layer. That is so cute. I have absolutely no idea what I'll use it for, but I'm just so genuinely excited to own washi tape. Nip that back in its box, keep it safe. And of course, a star attraction for one such as myself. No pun intended with the little stars on there. Oh, I am a sucker for anything sweet. Any kind of chocolate, I am in. Seems vegetarian friendly from a glance at the ingredients. Nice. Unfortunately, I am on a diet, but I'm sure I'll find a way to justify eating this on my birthday. 
So let's get all of this out of the way and we're left with the main event of the box, the Ocean Wonder cross stitch kit. And just from a quick look at that, it doesn't look like we have any manta rays, so I can relax. Okay, shake it off. We do have a dolphin, a very happy looking octopus, a little turtle, oh I love little turtles, Mr. Whale, a seahorse, oh all kinds of things. This is just adorable. And I know I've probably overused the word adorable in the last couple of minutes, but sometimes that's the only word that fits. So this is the same box as the previous kit that we just looked at. I expect the contents are gonna be very similar. Same information on the back. There's no information on who designed this one, but I think, as I said earlier, they do tend to get guest designers in for the club box kits. So let's see. Again, I will just put the actual pattern to one side because I don't want to be giving any unintentional spoilers. Check there's nothing else in there. There is not. So again, we've got our instructions. I now have two sets of these. If anyone needs a set of Caterpillar cross stitch stitching instructions, I've got you covered. Oh, there's an extra bit in here. Ah, so this is details of our designer for this kit. All right, so on the front here, or on one side at least, we have details of the actual designer, Sally Payne. Sally is a freelance illustrator and surface pattern designer working in Cheshire, UK. She's worked for many years designing lots of fun products, including baby wear, clothing, stationery, and fabric. Sally is currently busy illustrating children's books, which has always been a dream. She loves creating new illustrations, especially those featuring animals, flowers, and shapes using vibrant colors. Well, this certainly fits that description. And then on the other side, it has a bit about the inspiration for this particular design, which is a nice little touch. This colorful, fun design was inspired by my love of sea creatures, big and small. My ideas always start on paper, normally with rough pencil sketches. Then I bring my ideas to life on a computer where I can focus on colors and patterns. I hope this design will make you smile as you get stitching. Ah. Again, they have included the needle, so I'm developing quite a needle hoard now. This one looks like it might be 14 count Ada. It's a very light blue. I don't know how well that'll be showing up on camera, but it's kind of a, a very slightly greenish blue. An under the sea blue, you might say. I love the colors of this one, the blues and the greens, and then we've got the pop of like pink and orange, and it's just gonna all come together beautifully on this fabric. Obligatory quick stroke of the nice smooth threads. Whoa. <laughs> Satisfying. And yes, if we look at the size on the actual printed pattern, you can see whether you're stitching on 14 or 16 count Ada, this is going to fit into the six inch hoop that came in the box. I don't think I said this on the previous kit, but I just want to point out that even the paper that the pattern itself is printed on is thick and good quality. I don't stitch much from actual paper patterns. I prefer PDFs for the most part, but I can tell that this isn't going to disintegrate or just get wrinkled and disgusting always a bonus. So that's the contents of our club box. I'm not gonna lie, a very large part of me is most excited for the chocolate lollipop, but that's because I'm basically a child. Everything in here is beautiful. It's real brands, it's great designers, and washi tape. Washi tape. And once you've emptied everything out, you can see the box itself, even if you don't want to use it for anything else, fully recyclable, which is always a nice touch. So that's that. Obviously, I now have a couple of new projects to start, but that's okay, because I do have a new project bag to put one of them in. And if you've got enough bags, you ain't got too many whips. Them's the rules. Thank you very much to Caterpillar Cross Stitch for sending me such an amazing haul. It makes me feel like a proper grown-up cross stitcher and also kind of saved my birthday after everyone was too busy to come to a sleepover. Remember, if you are interested in getting your hands on the next subscription box, you have until July 14th to order, and you can get a 15% discount with the code 15BOX14. Alternatively, you can also join the subscription club on an annual basis, which gets you all six boxes for the next year and comes with a built-in discount over buying them separately. If you're not really into the whole subscription thing, first of all, thank you for watching so much of something that didn't even interest you, but also it's worth checking out the Caterpillar Cross Stitch website anyway, as they genuinely do have a lot of cute and happy patterns, and sometimes we just need a bit of cute and happy in all of our lives. Okay, I'll be back soon with some more crafty nonsense, so in the meantime, have a brilliant rest of your day and keep making cool stuff. Bye!